Hi, my name's Andy. Thanks for looking in today. I'd like to share with you my latest radio acquisition. Uh, this is a medium wave receiver that has no mains lead uh, because it doesn't need one, it doesn't have any batteries because it doesn't use them. It uh, draws all of its energy from the sending station. It's uh, what's known as a cat's whisker and it's uh, made by British Thompson Houston Company. Uh, it's called a Bijou Crystal Receiver and from the instruction card in the lid here it's uh, dated to January 1924. So at the time of making this video in 2010 the receiver is 86 years old. The red logo in the middle here says BBC. The system requires an aerial and an earth to be connected. It has a wave change switch with positions 1 covering from 300 to 400 meters and then position 2 covers the wavelength of 400 meters to 450 meters. This crystal set is a little unusual in as much as it's been modified. This link has been fitted by the original owner. The link unplugs and it would have allowed the original owner to have plugged in a larger coil so that the crystal set could receive long wave frequencies. The workings of the receiver are all mounted on the top plate. The dial actually moves a coil through 180 degrees. I think we're getting that there. So the phase of the inside coil is reversed. The uh, wave select switch there, it still feels it's got a nice action to it after 86 years, lovely thing. When I received this set, these uh, support arms were broken and I've actually made some splints on each side to support it. I haven't drilled into anything as I didn't want to uh, change anything about the device. I wanted it to restore it in such a way that if somebody wanted to uh, look at it again in another 80 years time, uh, nothing's been detracted from. These are the headphones. Uh, these particular ones are made by Sterling of London and it says on the label here or it's stamping that they are BBC approved and uh, patent applied for. They're very very light aluminium construction for the headband and for the uh, casing. This is the aerial drive the crystal set. It's 62 foot of wire that runs from the top of that mast down to the top of the pole that's in the center of the image now. And then there's another 62 foot that runs from the top of the mast to another pole behind me. I've got the aerial and earth connected now together with the headphones and I can hear a fairly strong uh, Irish station. I'm on the west coast of Wales and uh, that's the strongest station with me but at, uh, unfortunately it's not loud enough for the camera so I will connect a little amplifier so that you can hear it. This is a single transistor amplifier that I've just quickly knocked together to uh, allow me to 
get the output from the crystal set uh, into the camera. I've now got the camera connected to the crystal set via these two blue wires and a little amplifier. And you'll see as I move the crystal, uh, sorry, the, uh, the cat's whisker on the crystal, and there it's disconnected. There are different places on the crystal that will produce a stronger and weaker signals. That's a, a, a good spot. So unlike a modern receiver, the selectivity is very poor. Uh, when I listen to this receiver at night, I find I get two or three stations overlapping and uh, I simply can't separate them. And there you are, that's uh, a cat's whisker radio, uh, the sort of thing that uh, your grandparents uh, would have used, no doubt. And I can imagine people getting very frustrated. Trying to find a good spot on this crystal. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.